This is Soraya, a four-year-old daughter. She's a girl scientist. I'm a great singer. Yeah, I almost forgot. She's also a great singer. She's always been very curious about the world around her. One day, when she was looking at her mom light up a candle, she asked, "Papa, why does a fire burn?" I was tempted to say, "Um, why don't you ask your mom?" But that would be futile. My daughter is very persuasive. Hi, why does a fire burn? Why does a fire burn? Hi, hi. So I told her that fire was the result of a chemical reaction, the mixing of two things using heat. For a fire to burn, it needs three ingredients together: oxygen, fuel, and heat. The fire burning this candle, for instance, needs heat, which is generated by the lighter. Oxygen is a gas that makes up the air around us, and the fuel is the candle wax itself. Remove any of these three things, and the fire goes away. For example, cut the candle wick, and you remove the fuel. <laughs> Try blowing the candle, and you remove the heat. But when it was time to talk about oxygen, 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 I love oxygen. I had to be more creative than the cup over the candle trick. The cup traps oxygen. Eventually, all the oxygen in the cup is consumed, and the fire is extinguished. I thought about the vinegar and baking soda experiment. When you mix these two things, you create a gas, and this gas is called carbon dioxide. Like oxygen, carbon dioxide is an invisible gas, but carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen and behaves like invisible wood, which will we use to put out the fire. So shall we do it? Okay, we're gonna use vinegar and baking soda and a special measuring cup and a candle to blow out the candle. That's it. Thank you. What's happening there? Um, it's getting bigger and bigger as the bubbles. So the bubbles, and what's inside the bubbles? Well, I had to explain it again, just to make sure she's got it. Carbon dioxide. Yep, science never fails. But then she asked me. Next time, watch Saraya extract DNA.